channel this is really my first stab at trying to do a guitar centric uh, gear centric video and today I am really made in voyage on this uh, zoom q8 handycam just got it and uh, I know a ton about guitar and guitar gear I know very little about video cameras um, I will show some pictures in a minute how I've got this thing set up but uh, essentially I'm running the XY mics that come with the the, uh, the thing and in a minute I'm going to show you what it sounds like with the boom I went ahead and opted to get the, the uh, uh, boom attachment mic uh, as well for uh, voice recording and that sort of thing so I'm also running uh, like a, an MXR uh, condenser uh, large diaphragm condenser uh, in one of the inputs and uh, eventually I'll get around to digging out another XLR cable I just didn't feel like fishing all that stuff out today and actually close micing the amp but um, I'm running in 1024 I think 3k um, I will have to go back and look at that again this video camera stuff is new to this guitar nerd this is the add-on attachment boom uh, for audio reference I just wanted to see what the voice pickup was different, uh, or if the voice pickup was different with this particular uh, mic capsule. Um, and it would be really cool if I didn't have to use some sort of lav on the uh, on the lapel. So anyway, this is the sound of the, of course, the MXR uh, condenser mic still running in tandem with this. But this is that same guitar rig, same volume and everything, I just switched out with the boom capsule and it's more, it's very unidirectional so I don't know what this is going to sound like. I will find out when I'm editing. <laughs> see on the screen that it's redlining just a little bit in one of those spots so maybe it's just hotter um, by nature than the, the XY pattern uh, mic capsule so anyway that's the boom for those interested this is a, uh, a Fender Telecaster 68 body it's actually mahogany and an 82 neck somehow they found one another and married and it was gifted to me by a dear friend uh, it's a 68 uh, mini bucker from a Paul I believe and then over here is a Valve Train Trenton, love this amp. It does so many things. I've got it in the raw setting, uh, so it's bypassing all the EQ, and it's just volume. And I've got uh, one of these BBE Mindbender sort of Leslie things uh, going on uh, just for that effect. So anyway, that's the, the gear and uh, the setup for that. So anyway, um, please like uh, the video on YouTube if you feel so inclined and even subscribe. I'm going to be rolling out tons of stuff, uh, lessons, ideas, concepts, demonstrations, gear demos, so much, much more to come. But anyway, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you soon. So just to recap, uh, the Zoom Q8 Handycam, do I like it? Absolutely. Um, do I think you should buy it? Depends uh, what your needs are. It is an audio recorder that has a camera on it. You are not going to win, win any film festivals with this in my opinion. Um, I had to edit some of the uh, the footage from the when I was holding the guitar 
kind of came out dark. Of course, I've got sort of a dark room. You can see the wood paneling and old Edison lights and stuff behind me. You know, uh, I just like that vibe. But as far as how it records uh, video, my iPhone looked better. Um, but audio, you really, I mean, it's super convenient to be able to export the files in tandem with one another uh, as separate WAV files for high quality. You could dump it into a, you know, a DAW or, or whatever you wanted to do with it. So I'm going to keep playing with it and mess with the different modes and see. Uh, there's different lighting settings. I set it for low light concert and it still kind of came out dark. So um, we'll see what that, you know, how that shakes out. Uh, after I've played with it for a while. But uh, first impressions, I dig it, especially for the price, you can't beat it. All right, take care. Yeah.